everybody, welcome back to Plate Up. The Chinese New Year update just came out and there are a ton of new dishes, including dumplings as the new main, bamboo shoots as a side, and mandarin oranges as a starter. There's also a new map, new game mode, and some new variations of already existing dishes, but today we're gonna try out the dumplings and see how far we can go. But anyways, if you liked the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Don't look too closely at them and sure. What's wrong with them? They have like right angles on them. They're, they're like you can s I think the ridges look like uh corners. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I'm being picky. I'm still sour. You know, they asked the only Chinese played up guy streaming it. I guess one of two Chinese people playing this game mm -hmm. and I didn't get access to the early, early oh. patch. So you think you think they should have put you as like the face of the update? <laughs> Uh, I mean, would that have hey, been... that's on them to decide. <laughs> <laughs> would that have been cancelable or would that have been free promotion? Oh, dude, I would rock it like an NHL cover art. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so no, definitely not cancelable. That'd be nothing but positive. Yeah, I don't know. I think like, I don't know how people get the early access. Oh, no, I figured it out. Um... I've I've asked very nicely and they're gonna they're gonna get back to me. And if I get in scoots, I'm not I'm not letting you behind, man. Don't worry. Ooh, I like the new cards. Oh, so these are actually different. So the red envelopes not only look visually different, they have a chance of being upgraded and discounted. And oh. or and we so get like these every single day. Every single day. Oh. Oh. I have a new meta for research desk too. You're gonna love it, man. Do we skip the blueprint cabinet? We do. You've learned. You've learned the no, way. No, 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 no. <laughs> but not for the reason you do it. You do it to spite. No. I do it because it's better. <laughs> I, I've always done it because it's better, and I'm glad you see that now. <laughs> no, no, no. You. So, okay. You know, I'll just say it when it works. <laughs> oh, I already know how it you works. <laughs> Rerolls are discounted, too, from envelopes. Yes, so our rerolls are also going to be those red uh, pockets. Oh. Yeah. And when chat comes in, if they go exclamation mark pog, it increases the odds of us getting like an upgraded discounted item inside. So you'd want them to visit and then pog. I don't know why, but I don't know if I believe you on that last part. No, it's true. Try it out, chat. Will it show up over their head? Um... It'll be in the outcome of the envelopes. How will we know? Uh, how does anyone know anything, really? Oh. Hmm. Oh, but yeah, back It'll to the, uh, the the early testers. I think it's so strange that they never really advertise when an update's coming out. I just see people <laughs> playing, and I'm like, these are new foods I've never seen before. <laughs> That's exactly what happened with this one, I thought. I knew, like, the day before it was going live. Yeah. I was like, oh, my goodness. And then I was asking chat, like, guys, did I just miss something here? And they're like, nope, we all knew when you knew. I'm like, okay. Because I feel like they've sure. done that with the past ones. Even the Christmas one, I, I saw someone playing with the Christmas update. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I had no like clue. That. This one's better than the Christmas update, in my humble opinion. I think chat would agree with me. Oh, okay, get ready for the moves. I'm ready for it. Okay, so buy this one. Done. And we take it to a copy desk. And then we're going to throw away our research desk. We're going to junk it. We're going to throw it away? Yep. Why? Oh, it'll all make sense soon. Is it because it friend. more odds of getting another one? Yeah. But we already have one. And then we'll have more. It seems crazy, right? It does seem crazy. But I've tried it now three times, and it's it's the move. Hmm. So either you're getting lucky, or you are more likely. Um, it's a little bit RNG based, but the RNG is so boosted it doesn't feel that bad. You have to low roll for this method not to work. And it, it, like, at what day do you quit trying? Because I think you get less uh, odds as the days goes on, right? Day. I think it's over time day 10 is when you need to it was you no longer have boosted odds oh okay so if you don't have anything by then you've probably lost you're anyways already, <laughs> you're you're already dead at that point <laughs> 
So on upgrade, does do we still keep the like weird discounted prices from the cards? From uh, the envelopes? No. no. Okay. I know. Sad. So have you gotten all of the new things? Have you gotten the orange slices, the bamboo shoots? No, I haven't. I've only gotten um, seaweed. Seaweed? Is it? Is that a? Oh, seaweed. A side? What is it? It is a topping, a uh, topping. that goes alongside dumpling only, mm. like beans on toast. Okay. I can't think I've ever had seaweed on my dumplings. I've had like seaweed salad. <gasps> Scoots, we can't get in. You can run around. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Don't serve. Don't serve. Don't serve. Good eyes, good eyes. Yeah, that is on me though. <laughs> I was not thinking. <laughs> no, no, that was on me, man. It's all, it's you know team effort, team game here. Hey, there we go. Copy desk right away. We need 120 bucks. Well, maybe Start. maybe Verve will give us a, a Verve, good price. You're not allowed out until you. Eight dollars on need. dumplings is pretty good though. Oh, it's crazy. Dumplings are one of the best foods now, by far. Like meta play, I would I would do dumplings if I was min maxing. I want to try the new stir fry. I guess it's not that crazy Ooh. though. We got both of them. We definitely go seaweed, right? Seaweed is much cooler than soy sauce. Cause soy sauce is like ketchup on hot dogs, right? They request Honestly, it while you know, they're eating. These words, soy sauce is Asian ketchup. That's crazy. You said it that way, but okay. So yeah, I'll take seaweed. <laughs> I don't know if it was your place to say it that way, but like I'm here. Don't worry, I'm giving you the pass. I speak from the ketchup side. I don't speak for the soy sauce. Oh, okay. Side. I can speak from the soy sauce side. That's okay. perfect. Maybe we can call that like our duo name. Ketchup you know, I'm not. Soy. I'm not a big fan of ketchup. I don't like. I think in most and situations, I'm not a big... I would oh, really? prefer. Uh, I would prefer a different dipping sauce. Like, where would you prefer ketchup? With strawberries. What? With French fries. Strawberries? <laughs> no, French. What? <laughs> what, are we, what is going on? What are you on about, man? You're Have you ever dipped your baby. French fries in, like, mayonnaise? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, an, ad, ad, I'm an avid mayonnaise enjoyer. I pr I'd prefer mayonnaise over ketchup, I think, for French fries. Okay. Really? I think so. Man, you... you <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't... I prefer a nice, like, cool mayonnaise over ketchup. <laughs> As opposed to hot mayonnaise? No, 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 no. Cool <laughs> isn't like they've added stuff to it. Like, oh. There's, like, bits in oh, it, okay. and you're like, oh, what's those dark okay. spots? Not pepper. I went to... There was a Belgian place near where I went to school, and they had, I think, 12 different types of mayonnaise that you would get with what? their uh, their fries. It was like lemon mayonnaise, wasabi mayonnaise, chipotle lemon mayonnaise. Wow. It was good. I had, a, I had a wasabi mayo last night with my chicken karage. Oh. It was odd. At, oh, dude, I need a seaweed. I need a seaweed quick. Do I just throw it on there? Yeah, All right, yeah, cook yeah. it. And then slam it here. Okay, so it needs to be cooked. Yeah, so I get to take orders. Ready? Okay. So one plane. No weed needed. Thank you. And then I need one weed, one none. Can do. Thank you. Scoots is a weed dealer now. Hell yeah. Is there anything uh, else with this seaweed? No, is there a it's seaweed what? salad option? No. No seaweed salad. That would be so good though. I'm so blown away they did dumplings. Like I never would have thought that this is the next food they were gonna do yeah i guess most i guess a lot of games that do like holiday related things they hey, do include you... okay. uh like chinese new year because they seem to be doing really? stuff on all the holidays i mean i guess like i remember like league of legends always made a big deal for chinese new year with Dude, like new like, like skins and stuff game? same with valorant yeah. interesting i guess you're right you gotta think about like what percentage of the world that games also celebrates Lunar New Year, and I think it's a pretty high crossover. Yeah, I mean, I think they also just uh, are looking oh. for any situation to try and make more money. Not not played up sake, but like <gasps> League of Legends. 
<laughs> so they're like, any holiday that can be a holiday, we're making a skin for it. <laughs> no. They had they like never do they that. Have April Fool's Day skins. They're always good though. They are. Flower. We should. Um. Okay, so we buy copy desk here. Okay. And then let's just go. I guess we have soaking sink already. Want to do Hobbs to? Want to do Hobbs or dining tables next? Um. How many dining upgrade. tables total do you think is the is the move? Well, I think we go to metal tables eventually. Oh, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and go to metal tables. So Over you're saying, hobs, you think? So you're saying I take this and I. Oh th yeah, now you junk it. And I throw it in the river. Garbage, not needed anymore. Throw it in the river. Oh, I can't go over there. Into the lake. Lake, sorry. Yeah, we can't throw things in the river, but the lake is okay. Uh, actually, then we should just go hobs duplicating, because you could still buy those and it would be an upgrade. Versus this is not really an upgrade. <coughs> All right. Do I want one more table? I could do it. Yeah. I mean, I, there's not enough people, right? There's only four groups. You can go ahead and buy it, though. Or you can... Oh, wait. Can you afford bucks? it? Oh, it was 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for the sub, Maddie. Right. And also the gifted. Uh, I've never from done someone. a huge <laughs> dining room. Like... 14 tables but i saw a really cool system you can do using if you give every single table a soaking sink and an auto plater huh. it will keep up with itself this is this is turning into like an actual restaurant wow our dreams are coming true scoots they are so you have to do man you gotta work hard you gotta pull yourself up by the bootstraps and then uh get lucky and get <laughs> and spawn in a restaurant I've heard like running a restaurant, it's very, very difficult to be profitable. Didn't your family have a restaurant, you said? We did. It How was, was it? It was profitable. It was actually, yeah. we, we did very, like I was very fortunate. We grew up very privileged. You know, like I never went hungry. That's right? good. Well, and, you had a restaurant. Yeah, and I had an Nintendo <laughs> DS. <laughs> <laughs> you had food right there. <laughs> if you're going hungry living in a restaurant, yeah, something's wrong here. <laughs> Hey, one dumpling? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I have heard the restaurant business is very, very tough to be oh, profitable. Oh, brutal. Yeah. No, no Especially nowadays. Oh, yeah, even worse now. Because, you know, you got to use delivery systems. That Like, that's the new norm. And those things, you 30% right off the top. I mean, that's just crazy. Anything, imagine just handing away 30, maybe even 50% of your revenue to a platform that you don't necessarily need. Wow, who would do that? Who would do such a horrible thing? Anyways, one weed, please. Oh, I got you. Can these burn? They can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then one weed, one plane. I wonder if they have their own... Uh... Oh, you can't... Oh, that's so annoying. If they have their own sprite for being burned. Or if it's just a puck. Ooh, Same question. with dumplings. We should do it for science. Yeah. Okay, burn two. Uh, you you want one? You want me burn some burn some for the, well, in the back for us? I thought you were gonna burn one dumpling, one seaweed separate. Oh, I thought you were asking to burn weed in the back. Oh. <laughs> hey, it wouldn't be a restaurant without it, man. It's not after hours yet. I would say it would open up our creativity. Thank you so All right, much. I'm gonna oh, burn wait. one of these. Science. All right, it's just a puck. Oh, that's a puck. Puck alert. I'm going to guess these are going to be a puck as well. Probably. If they're not, though. Okay. Oh. So sad. Oh, man. We could almost just not do dishes, right? Because we have so many. I think we have enough. Oh, we got to go ex... Oh, no, formal would have been good because it doesn't make any mess then here. Um, I'm down for either or. Not uh... flexible. Hmm, affordable probably doesn't matter because it's so low groups, right? Affordable is good when you have like 100 customers, right? Yeah. Because you can just turn them I'm... over super fast. Yeah, exclusive here, right? That works for me. 
Nice. Someone asked why did we dump our research desk? Someone asked why you threw away research desk? Yes. Oh, dude, throw this one on. Oh, we got new decorations? Okay, so then take these, put them where you like. So the reason we throw away research desk is, okay, so this is the new meta strategy chat. I've been talking with some of the Ooh. secret society of the played up individuals, you know, players of the highest caliber. And we've come to the conclusion that it is better to throw away your first research desk because it puts research desks back into staple appliance pool. So we have an increased likely odds of hitting another one while also having a copy desk ready. So we just scale really, really fast here. You guys writing this down? <laughs> <laughs> this kind of looks like a disco ball. It, it sort of does if a disco ball was a paper lantern, but... Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'll be dancing back here. <laughs> <laughs> you got the weed, you're dancing, you have a party back there, eh? Wow, we hire... all oh, the statues are 75. That'd be so nice to buy. You, we could just... We could just toss one in if you want. Where? Into our cabin. We don't really need the hobs actually. Like oh. we're gonna Well what's the what's the first level upgrade? Of what? Of hobs? exclusive. Uh Q's stop patience decreasing. So we need six okay. to get to Yeah, because I think money. six is the only power spike. Like if we could <laughs> afford one and then throw another one in there, I'd say we'd do it. But I, you can keep the hobs in there if you want. Well, you know, we could duplicate this and the next turn oh. 75. Yeah, we have a copy machine. Wow. Ooh, wait, that's oh, that's dude, way too bright. Flashbang. That's way too bright. And now all we have is sand. <laughs> oh man. That, that doesn't look that bad. Ooh. It goes with the with the lake. It's like a little oh, lake beach type theme thing. Restaurant. Yeah. Oh wow, we need a funky name for these dumplings then. One order of boat anchors coming up. Mm, I didn't like that. Boat anchors? Two barnacles. Stat. I'm trying to think of nautical themed oh. words that could replace the dumpling. Well, the seaweed is nautical. It is, but the dumplings aren't. Hmm. Speaking of seaweed. Uno seaweed, please. The sand is only where the food is. I mean, that's just the authentic beach experience then. What's a beach day without a little grit in between the pearly whites? You Ain't see the it. you see the lantern? It's like transparent, right? Yeah, so you can see through it. Like that's how ceiling lights also work. Like you only see like the skeleton. In the game, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna take a look at my ceiling lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh let's see if they want seaweed yeah double seaweed okay we get a conveyor going you'll be good to go and a safety hover too nice so we're holding out for that that research desk that we, that we yeah. threw in the garbage don't worry don't worry it'll come back and then so, when it does our scaling is gonna go sicko mode so when we find it we then copy it is what you're saying yeah but then we take it to blueprint desk so we're still getting blueprint desk yes now you've we're lost get, like, me a bunch of blueprint desks right off the gates right out of the gates one seaweed I got oh sorry seaweed. I got seaweed. you can just leave seaweed out here if you want and then i'll just like top them yeah maybe oh we should have bought that hob well you have two you don't need two for dumplings right? that's true yeah it's, it's very fast Got a little bit more money here. Two planes. Thank you. Got it. Then last table. One plane. Thank you. I was I was saying yesterday that I don't think three dumplings is an appropriate serving size. I think it's too little. As a meal, like no. Only I feel like yeah, that'd right. be an appetizer. Even three? I think six needs to be an appetizer because then you're going to share. True. But they're ordering for themselves. Oh, nice. Yeah. We, I mean, we got to take soy sauce. Yeah, I agree. And I just need to stay on top of it. Okay, I might go down a few tables now. 
Okay, that's fine. And then I can just keep the, the seaweed up here. Yeah. I want to see what the soy sauce looks like. Is it a new artwork? It Ooh. is. Ooh. Looks like maple syrup from the IHOP. <laughs> Dude, you're so American. I love it. <laughs> Tell me it doesn't. Tell me it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Dining table three. Uh, let me think here. So dirty dishes output here. Yeah, this works. Oh, we really want this, right? Yeah, I think we could even duplicate it. I don't know then. Yeah, duplicate mixers and then drop by one statue and that's it. That's or do we far. buy the statue? We can't afford the other one. What I'm saying, just buy the mixer, keep the statue. We could do that as well, because mixers are only strong when we get grabbers anyways, and we're far from grabbers. And then we can get more money by having the other statue. Yeah, I'll just buy the mixer. Dude, you're rich. Let's go. That's a, actually a good one. I'll just do this for steak, maybe. So you know how typically the soy sauce with the green top will be the low sodium one? The, sorry, which one's low sodium? The one with the green top. That's right. Yeah, it is. So uh, if you go next time you're at like any restaurant that has both of them on the table, I've started to look and half the time the green top is still a plain, like just the Kikomon for the most part. And it's not the low sodium version. So they have both of them on the table, but neither of them are different. <laughs> <gasps> well, that is, that is what? That is an interesting thing to take note of. I'm impressed that you note that. I'm quite observant. Yeah, you are quite observant. That's awesome. How do you know? Do you like taste test them against each other? No, I just I just look at the bottle. Like the bottles, the glass bottles, the exact same. Like it doesn't say low sodium. Just the top is green to, I guess, make people think they have low sodium. No, 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 no. The, the bottle... Are you reading the, like, nutrition facts just to double check this? Yeah. Interesting. Wait, now you might have uncovered something here, Scooty. Like, there, is, there are low-sodium soy sauces, but some restaurants I've noticed, they just put different tops on the exact same thing. Huh. I wonder why. You don't, like, they don't cost any different amounts, right? They're not making more money. They probably just buy only one type in bulk, maybe? Yeah, so then... But why try to deceive is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, There's probably a lot of people that like having the option. Yeah, you're uncovering some dark truths here, man. Some dark truths. Still no soy sauce. And it's... uh, I saw one in my chat says because they refill the bottles and then oh. sometimes if the lids get a little janky yeah that is true we used to refill the bottle soy sauce bottles too and mm -hmm. i don't recall ever keeping track of the lids going where it was all normal soy sauce That's nothing fair. special Someone said, when I was a cook, we served decaf and normal coffee, but it was just all decaf. <laughs> okay, that's, that is criminal. <laughs> You're done, Zos. What was their username, Scoots? I'm just going to write it down <laughs> so I don't forget. And well, I guess exactly a lot of people that, again? I don't know, a lot of people that drink coffee, maybe they, uh, I don't know, maybe caffeine doesn't affect them that much because they drink it so often. Maybe they can't tell. I drink, well, I mean, there's the placebo effect too, but then that would be like... Oh, you're an alcoholic. I'm not going to put any mix in your... You know, you're only drinking mix. You know, mm. that's the money. The, the Caffeine is the drug in the coffee that is so addictive, right? Maybe. But I think if you, okay. ma if you make someone like a virgin mix drink, you're actually leaving something out that they're paying for. But yeah, do you, I'm paying for the caffeine. You're paying for the... I guess that's fair. Hmm. But are you paying for the lack of sodium in the soy sauce? <laughs> well, I guess the, I guess the soy sauce is free. It's on the table. Yeah, yeah. You could drink it and no one would care. Well, I think I think some people some people would care, uh, not financially. Only your loved ones, really. But <laughs> <laughs> Please stop! You're tearing this family apart. You're, you're scaring no, the never. customers. <laughs> <laughs> you're scaring the customers. <laughs> 
Uh, we need one weed, one no weed. Okay. I got a feeling they're gonna want soy sauce. I'm gonna put it here. So I had this genius idea. I was gonna do triple tables and put one soy sauce on one of the tables, but I remembered then they won't sit down. Oh, uh, so what's the, uh, what's, we need the thing where they'll sit down before. Did we, we didn't take that tree. That was. No, no, we need conveyors. Yeah, just on the side. Exactly. I'm all for full salt, full fat foods. Some people go low salt or fat for health reasons. Here for a good time, not a long time. That's what it is. <laughs> um, I should bump these guys down a little bit. Okay, well, I might as well break them apart now. Since my plan didn't exactly work. Now, what's really unfortunate here, Scoots, is that we haven't hit any um, research desks. So it's making me look like an idiot. But I promise you, this is a good strategy. <laughs> well, we have until overtime day 10, right? Yeah. Uh, down for a statue? Yeah. Uh, and then we should junk this and start copying combiners. Yeah, the Q-stop table patience doesn't matter, I don't think. Yep, I agree. Okay. And then, um, why don't you give me a hob right here with, like, a seaweed station? Okay. And then you don't have to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Are there, uh, are there Panera breads near you? No. So never seen or had a Panera bread. Okay. Dude, have you heard about this thing called Dutch Bros? No, what is that? The Dutch Bros chat or Dutch Love? I forget what one of them is the dispensary in Vancouver and one of them is a coffee shack. A coffee shack? Like the, shack, right? Like there's only what one? The shack? No no no, there's many of these shacks. Like they're everywhere. Oh, apparently. it's just like small little coffee places. Yeah, yeah. In the parking lot of get this like like Walmarts and shit. Huh. And and they're like a cult following. People like cannot live without their Dutch bros. Interesting. What if it's all decaf? <laughs> 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 oh, they're duping us all. Oh, but yeah, the uh, so the Panera Bread, they have this new <gasps> line of lemonades that's caffeinated, and it's called Charged Lemonades. But they don't really like like other than just the word charged, they don't really advertise that it's like caffeinated lemonade, and. I would say by default, lemonade isn't really caffeinated. At least I would yeah, assume. I agree. No, uh, I agree. But apparently a lot of people really like it and drink like two or three of them and like have been feeling sick. But then they found out it's because they were having like 900 milligrams of caffeine. Because I think like one cup is 300 milligrams, which is like an energy drink. 300? Oh my. That's, that's a big energy drink. I yeah. Mean, a double shot of espresso is 110 milligrams. So that's six shots of espresso. And that you're chugging in a fairly quick, you know, format. Yeah, because it's like it's kind of a place where you could like work for the day or do like schoolwork. So people were just like getting refills of it. Oh, you can work. Really? You can it's hang kind around in a Panera Bread? It's kind of like a Starbucks, I would say, in that aspect. Oh, like you can hang out and like there's big tables and like desks sort of. Interesting. I did not know. That. I never would envision that as a Panera Bread. I always thought Panera Bread and Applebee's are kind of the same thing. Um, you just you offended a whole group of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, Applebee's is like American style restaurant with just like I don't know, like burgers, fajitas, yeah, steak, like, stuff thought, like that. I thought Panera Bread was that. Okay, I thought Panera Bread was like between Applebee's and Olive Garden, where like they had the menu of an Olive Garden, but Oh no, Panera Bread, Applebee's I would say, Panera Bread's like bakery coffee sandwich place. Oh. Like I mainly go for the bagels. They're they're known for their bagels. Really? Yes, yeah, so and they, they just have like a ton of sandwich, so a ton of homemade, yeah, they make them in house. They have bread bowls wow. with soup. The bread bowls are pretty popular. You got a soy sauce down there? Oh shit, thanks for the call, thanks for the call. You know what, we better get conveyors quick. This is that yeah. was already a little scary. <laughs> yeah, they've also they've got a big uh, I'm gonna do coffee. big baked section. They got cookies, scones, bear claws. Bear claws? What are bear claws? Bear claws are a cookie, right? It's a like a pastry that has like powdered sugar on it. Oh. And I think like there's something in the middle, like nuts, almonds, I think. Oh. We've got beaver tails here in Canada. Have you ever seen those? 
<laughs> they're probably the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they are. So a beaver tail, a uh, piece of dough, roll it out real thin, deep fry it, cinnamon sugar on top. Bingo, bango. I would say that's kind of close. But I don't know too much about um. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's go crazy. Here. Wow, we got it back. Scooty's wrong. Go to Einstein Bros if you care for bagels. Do you know Einstein Bros? Oh, I love Einstein Bros. I'm not saying Panera is the best, but it's convenient and pretty cheap. Is Einstein Bros not cheap? Uh, No, they're just not as abundant, I would say. I, I, they're probably more expensive, too, but they're mainly bagels. Like, that's like their whole thing. Bagel sandwiches. Okay, let's see here. One, two, three, six, and six. Do we Five buy these. these combiners? Um, buy combiners? Yeah, buy both. They're not We're used at them. the moment, right? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. You can combine flour and dough, but you'll need a grabber still. Yeah. Yeah, just buy both. I, Einstein Bros. Do you think um, it's morally correct to serve someone a bagel with cream cheese on the side and, and like you do not ever get the bagel smeared with cream cheese? Um, so you say, I want a bagel with cream cheese, and they hand you a bagel and then a small dish of cream cheese. Mm, I don't care either way. Wow. You're a better man than me, man. There is one place where they put, like, way too much. Like, an absurd amount. I There's no such thing as an absurd amount of cream cheese to me. I'll try and send you a picture later. It's like, because they serve it all right, like... Kind of sandwich style. Basically, you just pull it apart and you eat it one by one, or you can eat it yeah. together. But it's like three fourths of an inch of cream cheese, or like an inch of cream cheese in between the two halves. That sounds perfect. All right, well, I'm in. Well, you should go there. <laughs> the place you is great. Remember when there was a cream cheese shortage this year? This like last year? I do not remember that. Yeah, man, it was a thing. Like the Tim Hortons in Canada could not serve any bagels with cream cheese. Like they had signs up. People huh. were losing their shit. It was a dark time. What's your stance on flavored cream cheeses? Oh, I love them. Oh, plain cream cheese. No, no, no. Get me off this plain cream cheese. I don't want any of that. I get I do herb and garlic. No matter what type of bagel, I always go plain cream cheese. Oh, what? Yeah, I don't know. That is that is plain don't know. cream cheese? I mean that's like a spoonful of sugar away from just being a dessert topping them. It's just like uh, butter or sour cream. <laughs> yeah, it's thick sour cream juice. What are you doing? <laughs> I would uh, savory sour creams. I'm not a big fan of sweets. Uh, not not sour cream. Uh, cream cheese. <laughs> Do you like cream cheese icing on like cinnamon buns? Uh, sort of. I'm not a big fan of icing in general. Okay, me neither. But that's why I like the cream cheese icing because I find it's not too sweet. You know. Like a red velvet cake with cream cheese icing? Yeah. I need two with the uh, weed. Also, really oh, I made a by the way, because it's a topping, you cannot do um, seaweed on a plate by itself. Yeah, I've noticed that. Where do you stand on uh, capers and locks? On your bagel? Uh... Capers and locks. Uh, I've never had it. Oh. It's pretty good. I don't know what... What determines when you call it locks? Um... Locks. Isn't the locks the salmon? I think it's just smoked salmon. Actually, we should... You know, we should be finding a Jewish person to tell us. They will, they will know. Like, is it different from just normal smoked salmon? Or is it once I... it is on the bagel, it becomes lox? Oh, now this is a great question. <laughs> I have no clue. So you, can, you can't have lox unless it's involved with a bagel. <laughs> that is one thing that is lacking in my region. We do not have a lot of Jewish like cuisine. I can think of one Jewish deli in my in my near area. Yeah, well, see, like, I mean, I don't like every bagel place around me has uh, like Locks and capers as wait, a, like wait, a bagel. Wait, hold on, hold on. Chat's got it. Locks is a fillet of a brined salmon. Locks is frequently served on a, and then frequently served as the bagel. So it's not smoked salmon then at all. It's brined salmon. 
It's, it's closer mm. to pickled salmon, if mm. anything. But can you have lox without the bagel? Oh, what would you eat it on then? Good question. <laughs> oh, apparently it can also be smoked. Oh. Oh man, we need we need a solution for soy sauce. Oh, but it it has to be brined. But then it can be smoked after the brining process. Oh. Give me something new, please. Oh. No. Oh, these are both horrible. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think carrot soup is the play here. You think so? Yeah. Pumpkin okay. pies, you need, we need a bin, and we don't uh, even have a bin yet. Okay, yeah. I'll, Wait, I'll... all smoked salmon is brined? I didn't know that. Interesting. So all lox is smoked salmon. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the update, though, as we're, like, you know, approaching day 10 here? I like it. Yeah? It's... it's it, uh, I think it's super good, too. I mean, I, like... the. Sorry, take these. I'm not noticing any difference in the game mode. It's just the new dishes. But I like the new dishes. What do you mean you haven't noticed any dish, anything in the game mode? What's we're, new? We, th th we're getting different... Uh, we're only getting food cards. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just... we were oh. getting. I thought we were getting unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, this game really sucks. <laughs> it's just ragging on us. Okay, so... Oh, another research desk? Oh, wow. Wow, right. we're getting lucky. <laughs> we are. $30 research desk. That's going to get upgraded. Take it to whatever. No, no, we don't need it. We don't need it. Oh, we don't even want it? No. I'm buying a coffee table, by the way. Okay. 30 bucks. Mop sink. Do you want to get a new... I almost think I should grab sink instead of soaking sink for right now. You think oh, so? we should buy that sink anyways, because we're doing... um. We're doing soup, and we'll need it. Okay. Yeah, and then just put it there. Because I already have my starter sink here. Yeah, I already have your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then... um. Oh, this is going to be pretty hard. We need to... We should buy this hob, too. Because we'll need a hob for um soup. Okay. And then we can put it here, I guess? Because then I can portion... No, no, because then I can portion outside. But it's going to be pretty hard. Oh, this is going to get crazy, Scoots. I'm not going to lie, man. This is going to be pretty hard. Hmm. Five groups. So, ten people. So... But only what? Does every single person want soup, or could it be one out of the two? Uh, it's it one out of the one two, out right? Of the two, yeah. So, probably three pots of soup. Oh, we sh that's a prediction, man. How many pots of soup today? Well, it's either two or three. I can't imagine it'd be four. You ready? Actually, give me one of these counters. Hello? Are you there? Oh, sorry. I muted myself. Oh. What do you think about this? <laughs> sorry. I was saying they are saying put a counter here. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Sorry. I binded my uh, mute button to M. So when I type in a prediction, it muted me. Oh. Wait, Trashley, should I bought new research desk? Oh, I Both need to do blueprints and cabinet research and discounts. You could have a do discounts and research blueprint. Huh? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. I... Chat is saying we should have bought that new research desk and left two in the cabinet, but it doesn't matter because I can still have two in the cabinet. And like, you yeah. don't need to double. Yeah, because you, oh, you can copy it. Carrot, need a carrot. Oh. Do you think it is worth it to chop the carrot before putting it in the soup? It depends on where you're, um, what you're waiting for. If there's downtime anyways, and you can chop while it's cooking, yes, chop it. But otherwise, you just toss carrot in. Okay. Can I get another soup going? Yeah. Thank you so much.
<coughs> thank you. Actually, pass me a carrot. Pass me a carrot. Pass me a carrot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, dude. Uh, first order, we need one dump. One dump with weed. <laughs> now we need uh, two dumps, one with weed. Hold on, I'm waiting thank on this you. soup. Yeah, waiting on a dump as well. What's the difference between chopping carrot and not? Three seconds. Three seconds to chop a carrot. Oh, sorry. Three seconds to cook the soup down with chopped carrot versus six seconds without. So, if you got to do the math, right? When is it more worth it to get the time save? If you save, if you save time overall by chopping the carrot, chop the carrot. But if you don't, don't do it. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right now, it's better to not chop the carrot for us. Uh, two dumps, one with weed. Actually, both with weed. One more dump. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I need plates. Uh, okay, got, got the carrot. All right, I'll go do the research. If we get... Okay, okay. I'll take my time with this person. Nice. And the answer was three bowls of soup, by the way. Oh. We needed three. Well, no, we didn't, because this one wasn't used. I'm going to use it in a second. I got another table in here. Oh, well, do you think it's going to be one soup, though? Ooh, if it's one soup, it's two. If it's two soups, it's three. Ooh. Oh, oh, what? Two bowls of soup then today. Here, I'll Two use pots. it. I'll, I'll take some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Scoots does not count towards that. He's just needlessly wasting food. Let's see what they want. Oh, nice. There we go. All right. Pay out the, uh, pay out the twos. Count it. It was for sure. Uh -oh. These votes matter. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pay it out. Oh, nice. Go. Now we're all matching. Oh, have you seen the rabbit poster yet? Yeah, put it up up here. Oh, nice. Okay. Um... I don't know. I'm down to save and buy blue or just buy blueprint desk here. Buy one. That works for me. Okay. Calm painting is uh, good as well. If you're down for that. That does double think time, double. Uh, and a ton of patience. Hmm. Isn't it? I, I think it's a no brainer. Is it yeah, good for it. this game mode? Yeah. Because it's uh, high variety, right? Yeah, because it's typically bad, it right? Typically bad, yep. Because of good thinking on so autumn, long. Good on this game mode. Is this new? It seems like it. Oh, what is this? I don't know. I'm going to go to where we have somewhere we can we can see, see it. a little better. Oh, no. I don't think this is new. The trees? That's nice. No, I don't think the trees are new. Chad, is that new? I don't recall. Oh, was it autumn? Is there new flooring uh no there's one more new wallpaper we haven't seen yet also it's weird that these rooms are connected what yeah it's also have you noticed that all the uh new year maps are like completely symmetrical i did notice that i i like this i wonder why style. i think it's really fun well you can like pass food through which is wild mm-hmm I, I ran like a chain of dishes left to right the other day. Oh. Kind of neat. Yeah. All right. No more messing up again. Why is calm painting generally bad? It's not good if you have a high amount of groups because you'll lose them from your customers never leaving the restaurant. They'll literally just sit there, ho humming about the menu, and you'll die. That's why it's not always great. Thank you so much. Uh, 
Uh, I think we're looking for blueprint cabinet on desk, by the way. Like nothing else but blueprint cab. You think so? Yeah. I think so. The only other thing I could consider is if an early grabber, maybe we take it. Early grabber probably would be really nice. Uh, no, 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 we can't because we don't have a blueprint cabinet to work with it. Well, I was just saying buy straight up. <laughs> just buy a conveyor, right? Just to have it working. Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, if we see a conveyor, I'll just grab it. Uh, one dump. Thank you so much. Okay, then I need... Two dumps. Okay. Here's another one. Thank you so much. Wow, I could really go tray gaming if you're going to play it for me. Which is awesome. Like, I appreciate it. Uh, refresh on one carrot. Oh, I hate how you can't put the... Like, why not just put the carrot in there? Mm, soup with no water, yeah. I wonder why they don't let that happen. Cause you gotta you gotta make the the base before you can put the carrot in. Yeah, you gotta you gotta develop the flavors. Otherwise, I... you're just drinking broth. But the developed flavor is just a, a whole raw onion and then a whole raw carrot. <laughs> right, the flavors. So yeah, I guess you gotta you, you gotta, gotta do what you can to make it a little bit better. Exactly. Thank you. Meat. Uh, we need to go do research. Okay, I'm gonna ditch these guys. Okay. Oh, no, no. Well, phase is the last one. I also, I have made enough dumplings so I can go do it. Okay, okay. Don't uh, research, just upgrade. Okay. Just upgrade. Just research? Uh, opposite of that. Perfect. We actually have another research desk, so we could buy out this entire cabinet if we wanted to. And then throw a new one in there and try to go discount from this position. Mm -hmm. Three blu blueprint desks. That sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm kind of down for that. Nice. Don't research, just upgrade. Uh, you know what I meant, chat. You know what I meant. Ooh, fancy tablecloth. Is that good? I'll buy it. Yeah, the payback period is quick on that now. So buy... 45. Well, we should buy both of these, right? Uh, How much money? 90 bucks plus another 45? Well, they're, they're both, so it's 120. 120? Oof. So we won't be able to get yeah, the fancy. That. Okay. No, no, I don't care about the fancy. It's okay. Yeah, buy those too. So, uh, money ends up being a huge problem in this map, right? Because you're serving so few people. Yeah. So we really want discount early? Uh, when we want to actually scale, discounting is really important. I so think right like, here, we, we just want blueprint cabinets and maybe a grabber. That's right, yeah. And that's about it. And or I mean, if we if we find a heated mixer, I say we look for that as well. If I see mixer, I'm not afraid to grab mixer at all, because we'll need them too. Yeah. Okay. Seaweed portioner portioner would be good too, but I, I think we can do better. You never take the first offer, Scooty. You never take the first offer. Sometimes you do though. No, never, never. Here's you a carrot for the soup. Thank you so much. That was the first thing they taught me in business school. They said, what's your credit card information so we can bill you and then never take the first offer. And I said, okay, got it, prof. Wow, that sounds like a good school. Yeah. It was weird. They spelled bachelor with a U. But Where was it the is a bachelor U? in uh, business. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I want to know. How did you, <laughs> you know, where's the you? <laughs> at the end, at the beginning. Well, it's right in the name. Bachelor, right? Mixer, I'll take that. Thank you. Dish rack bin. I'm, I'm watching like a hawk right now. Actually, I'm ready to go tray gaming, but only if we roll into it. <clears throat> Do we care about a portioner yet? I don't think so. It'd be... I think it'd only be used for soup. Soup, right? Yeah. Oh, I tried to chop up a cooked dumpling. Conveyor? Grab, but we don't have... Cabinet. We don't have the blueprint cabinet yet. I'll, I'll just buy it outright and use it as my auto server. Oh, for the for, soy um, sauce? Soy sauce, yeah. And I'll set up the tables in a really cool formation. And then this one has to be a blueprint cabinet. Nothing else, unfortunately. Uh, need a new carrot soon? Thank you. Thank you. Dude, I got dumplings galore. Oh, I'm getting it down now. Yeah? I hope when we, we get, get a auto fed. It'll be game over. Too easy. So what else are we looking? We're looking for Mandarin, bamboo, and Mandarin. Yep. You I can you can take the tray. Though. We've only got like two cycles left. Or we can risk it for the blueprint cabinet. Well, it's gone. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for moving too slow. Oh. Hey. Oh, no. Never, never, never take the punished. third to last offer. That's what they always taught me. <laughs> you always take the last offer because you have to be so indecisive that you don't make the decision yourself. <laughs> All right, do you want to serve these guys? I'll go do research. Yeah. Okay. Oh, never take the third to last offer, chat. Oh, that's so funny. Nice. Ooh, a blueprint desk. I'll buy another one. One more? Sure. I love this mess situation. So all the mess is spawning on the outside ring. I think all the seats me. are out here. Yeah. What do we get? Show me something good. Oh, they fixed black coffee. That's really good. Yeah, I think I'd prefer that over turkey. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've been doing turkey since before it was even in the game. Exactly. Well, turkey, turkey before was very easy. There was no, there were no bones to discard. It gave like ten slices or something. Nice. Um, I'm seeing. So we buy conveyor. conveyor Wait, do we? Here we can put it in the the blueprint cabinet. Um, we can also put mixer in the blueprint cabinet. Ah. Uh. Because I can do this for conveyor now. Something like this. This. Then turn these chairs off. Copy blueprint, you think, chat? Um, copy blueprint cabinet. It's okay. We'll roll more because we have four desks now mixer mixer gets copied yeah the mixer is better than um yeah i think mix uh, buying blueprint cabinet and getting to copy mixer chat is better than holding out it's better than clearing out our cabinet just to get blueprint cabinets in there yeah this is good don't worry scoots you're, you're doing great that, that was what i wanted i wasn't worried to do that yeah no Chat was worried on your oh. behalf. They don't think I'm doing good? Uh, they didn't say... That, they didn't, well, I, I don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> no, I think you're doing wonderful. Okay, I would never say you're not doing good. But chat, they had some opinions. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I don't need stick anymore. Oh, yes, I do need stick. Swap cleaning brush and hob I'm using for soup. 
Oh, dude, Scoots, look at this. Hob here. No, no, that's worse because you use this to pass me dumplings, right? Yeah. I mean, we can put another counter if you want to. I can get one more piece of room. No, no, I like having access through. Okay. It's fine. Do one here. Yeah, and I start my day over here now. Um, Would you rather have all the... How are you going to get these plates over here? Oh, yeah. There's going to be some hard plates to grab. Oh, that's okay. You're just going to run around? Yeah. I'll. Because serving them is also a pain in my ass, but... The things we do for automatic soy sauce. You know what? Then let me turn this one off. Flip this one over. There we go. That's fine. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, to be honest, but I like it better than I did before. Okay, so today it's grabbers and blueprint. Oh, sorry. Grabbers and blueprint uh, cabinets. Okay. Here, I'll help shove you through. Bin wouldn't even be bad chat either. Oh, blueprint cabinet. Got it. Pass one carrot. Oh, nice. Okay. Another. Oh, that's an oven. <laughs> I was going to say another coffee machine. Wait, we why is all, why is there so much? Too. What's going on? This wasn't happening before. Look for on desk. Look for blueprint cabinets, grabbers, coffee machine, mixer. I know, big list, right, chat? But we need a lot of stuff today. Okay, double planes. Double dump. Blueprint cabinet to your right. Got it, got it, got it. Do you want prep? Um, probably not grab worth it, it now. It. Damn, okay. No, it's fine. it's fine. I think it'll be fine. We can just buy it outright. We don't have to actually like wait or anything. Yeah, it's only 20 bucks. Another blueprint cabinet? Uh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. And then- Is that three? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was nice. It did go pretty crazy. So now we're good on it, I think. Yeah, I agree. And then next turn, we just look for other stuff we want. Wow, for day 15, we're going to be so well set up, dude. Oh, chat. If you haven't already come meet some of the Scooty and its g, &G dumplings, you got to get in here. So I have a... My mom got me one of those, like the like bamboo steamers you can just put like in a pan. Yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. I've been I've been making dumplings and trying out some different stuff, and so my Ooh. favorite is doing uh, bananas and Nutella and doing like a dessert one. Oh, nice. Okay, that sounds really good. It's very good. Dude, I had someone tell me they put banana on pizza the other day when I was. Oh. Like it's crazy. That's like, a Swedish thing, right? Well, how the f how do you know that? Yeah, it was a Swedish thing. What can I say? <laughs> I'm cultured. <laughs> Dude, the other day I said, uh, they, they said, oh, Swedish pizza? Yeah, with bananas. I go, what the hell? Do you have to assemble it yourself? And no one laughed. Oh. Come on. Tough man, that's crowd. A good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. So, so, okay, bananas on this pizza. Is it a savory pizza then? Uh, I don't know that much. I think it's, I think it's this. Probably the same idea as pineapple. Like, it's probably a savory pizza, but it just adds a little bit of sweetness. Oh, how horrendous. Or, but like, similar, so to, similar to corn. Yeah, no, the yeah, texture of banana it. doesn't... What are you, what's going I, on? I, I, oh, yeah, bring that carrot over. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's a banana and curry. Banana oh, and curry. my God. <laughs> is, that is crazy. Is curry a, a Swedish thing? <laughs> According to chat... You know, I'm not trying to yuck anyone's uh. yum, but that does not sound my thing. That's a tough one. It's normally what it is with pineapple also. So it's a fruit salad on a pizza. That is wild. Fruit salad on a pizza. That's one way to eat, man. Those Swedes, I tell you. It I've... has to do with, like, the long nights 
it rewires people's brains. It really messes with their <laughs> they taste just, buds. <laughs> they just get desperate. <laughs> yeah. I'll eat anything. <laughs> Does this have vitamin D in it? Who cares? We'll try. All because of the midnight sun. Uh, double carrots? I on, I feel like there isn't a topping on pizza that I like don't find somewhat all right. I'm mostly the same way, but banana might be my limit. Maybe so. Because like I, I have preference, of course, but... Yeah. I peanuts along with the curry and banana is also a thing. Oh man, this is the first time Chatter telling me this too, Scoot. So like they're not lying. Huh. Wow. I think peanuts on pizza could be great. Are Over they just crunch? like like roasted peanuts, boiled peanuts? Oh dude, I've never had boiled peanuts. Like, you know the ones they serve out of like a stall, like a cart. Oh yeah, there there are boiled peanuts everywhere near me. Oh, that is crazy. If I ever visit you, Scoots, I really would like some They're great. Peanuts. We'll go to the flea market. Yeah? Yeah. Is it like a New York hot dog where the dirtier the stand, the tastier it's going to be? Uh, Probably so. Wow. And it's just like and a they, giant I, they vat. They boil carrots of... with them, right? Carrot? No, I, I know. Uh, not where I've had them. No? No carrots? No. What do they put with the peanuts? Nothing. <laughs> oh, it's just peanuts. Yeah, oh, it's just boiled still peanuts. That's still exciting. Yeah. Uh, turn on your no clip for this if you feel like it. It'll be easy because you can straight shot it. I like going. I like going all natural. <laughs> You're nuts. <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Just peanuts boiled. So then, what's the flavoring on them? Cajun or something? Uh, yeah. There's some places do flavors. Sometimes it's just like like a salt brine. But then like there's so the flea market I go to there's like 20 flavors. You can get like salt and vinegar, lemon pepper, barbecue, Cajun, just oh. plain salted. You can get like ranch seasoning. A lot of options. Wow. Let's upgrade that. Um. Okay. That guy. Oh, we actually don't have any um. Any blueprints left? What we can do is uh. Okay. The the real min max here is to pull the discount desk that we can't afford. You roll once and then toss it in the cabinet. Okay, that works for me. Oh no, will that, will it turn it blue? Yes, it will. Yeah, it will. yeah that would be the min max then. Yeah, let's do that. Have you ever had taco pizza? Um, I've never ordered it, but I know it exists. It's pretty I'm good. I'm kind of burying my head in the sand about it. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a big fusion guy. Like I like fusion, but sometimes it gets so out there. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I agree, but I don't think taco pizza is the out there. Uh, <laughs> okay, so like there's birria ramen, um, like birria taco ramen now in Vancouver. That's like the big thing. Oh. I've had brisk. Sure I've had like smoked yet. brisket ramen. It's similar in idea to that. Okay, I think fusion's great. I I, I think uh, I'm a big I, fan. Part, I like fusion. Like nine nine times out of ten, I love it. But sometimes I think it's all. I do think it's like, oh, that's just for the shock value. Like, you're not actually eating this. Maybe so. There's a there's a place near me called Taco Sushi, and their whole it's like Mexican Asian fusion. Yeah. And it's it's pretty good. They've got like traditional style like Mexican tacos, but then the meat is like like Bang Bang Shrimp or something. Ooh. Pretty bang good. Bang Bang Shrimp is a crazy name. I love it. Mm-hmm. That's a that's like a Panda Express thing, right? Uh, I think it's like well known. I don't know. I see it a lot on a lot of menus. It's just like fried shrimp with like a spicy mayonnaise sauce. Bang bang shrimp. Oh, so, Damn, oh, if I go out and they call me bang bang G and G, I'll know I lived a good life. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's the shrimp's honor. <laughs> Can I get one more carrot re up when you're ready? Yeah, it is hard to live up to that name. It's crazy. Yeah. So you've never had Bang Bang Shrimp? Never. It's good. I probably have, just in a different yeah. like, name to it. Probably so. I've seen it as like coconut, um, like it's like a coconut mayo sauce, which sounds not great. I'm not really selling it on it, but it's good. There was a there was a, a buffet I used to go to in high school, and they had something on the menu called mayonnaise shrimp. Oh, yeah, it was that. It's like a bright yellow sauce. Yep. Yep. That yep, was yep. really good. Bang Bang Shrimp's right. more, it's more spicy. 
It's like more reddish or pink. More sweet. They're like they're they're quite sugar forward. Okay, so now imagine that mayonnaise shrimp on a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be fine. That'd be good. I actually I watched a documentary about pizza and a place in Japan made sushi pizza and it was like rated one of the best pizzas uh, of the year. What? Okay, I low key think that Michelin the Michelin guide has like uh a bias a very distinct bias towards specific cuisines like the fascination with japanese and french cuisine is insane like you're telling me of the however many michelin star restaurants 90 percent of them serve one of those two cuisines yeah, that's not fair well this wasn't michelin so but i do i do agree yeah but i've always been a proponent of no seafood on pizza However, if the seafood's pre-cooked and the pizza goes in and out really quickly, I'm into it. Well, so this was, uh, it was raw tuna that was placed on top after the fact. And it oh, was, interesting. Yeah. And like, it wasn't really hot. Like the, the bread was cooked, but everything else was like, kind of like sushi, cold-ish. Room? Well, the, like the, room the fish is cold. And some I don't of the toppings are cold. supposed to be cold. They're kept, like, it's, kept it's, a, it's kept in a it's kept in a fridge, thing. right? The, like the display fridge, well, the little now case. You, now you got me questioning, and I, I don't remember. I can't yeah, imagine any, uh... it would be room temperature. Well, maybe not room, but like, yeah, I don't know now. I guess it is in a fridge, but I've always heard it's not good to be like fridge cold. Hmm. Maybe it's like, like sushi. maybe it's like red wine. Like it's not supposed to be fridge cold, but it's also <laughs> not supposed to be room temperature. It's supposed to be chilled. Right. They were the number one rated restaurant in the world seven times, three stars for quite a while. Look at Noma in Copenhagen. Most of the stuff they make is stuff they forage. True. Noma is different. So Noma is this restaurant. They like, it's a restaurant and a farm. Oh. Like when you go, your meal is like six hours long or something like that. That sounds um, terrible. <laughs> oh, you're in it for the ride. Like, I guess if you event. know what you're expecting. Yeah, and can prepare for it. Uh, coffee machine. I guess I buy coffee machine here. It, it sounds like the menu. The menu, uh, the movie, the menu is based similarly to Noma. Someone like, said Noma is closing. Oh, really? Apparently. I, I guess I'll never get to spend $400 and go. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> um, Did you watch the menu? I did not. Oh, dude, you should watch it. It's a, it's a trip. Hmm. I gotta tell you, no one has watched it though. So like the day after I did, I was cracking all these jokes. I thought I was making some good ones, but no one got the references. <laughs> I guess that ha sure, that's yeah. how it goes. <laughs> that's how it goes, eh? That's the problem with being, you know, ahead of your time, Scooty. <laughs> um, can I give you the soup hob now? We accidentally researched the discount desk. Oh, that's, oh crap, my bad. No, you're good. Oh, whatever. That's fine. We can roll down here once if you want. Table simple cloth would actually be all right. I kind of want to buy this heated. Heated? Oh, buy heated mixer for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you have a cheeseburgers and fries? No. What do you think about cheeseburger pizza? Um, I don't like burger meat on my pizza. I don't think it's flavorful enough to hang with the, you know, sausage and the bacon bits. Oh. I feel it's like out class, the, the cheese burgerification uh it's in full swing at least where i am <laughs> so uh, you're they're burgerifying everything yeah there's like cheeseburger egg rolls cheeseburger sushi <laughs> have you okay so there's a place near me and it's called uh cowfish and their signature Ooh. dish is called burgushi <laughs> oh. and it's wow. it's cheeseburger sushi <laughs> Burgushi. That sounds, you know, like what's the word I'm looking for? Vulgar. They have it. They have it at a what is it? Universal Studios in Orlando. Dude, the Burgushi. <laughs> no, don't say that. The... That's what you said. No, no, no. There's an H there. Burgushi, not not Burgushi, bur not not the Burgushi. <laughs> 
Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude, they fire their marketing person. <laughs> it, it's popular. <laughs> oh, that'll cry, dude. <laughs> Oh well, jeez. Oh, if you ever go Holy to shit, I want to go, man. Take if, me, if you ever go to Universal, <laughs> two Bergussies, please. Are we not gonna? What are we doing here? What are we putting in this? Wait, put things back. Hold on, we gotta fill our, we gotta fill our cabinets. <laughs> we got a game to play. All right, we don't want to research the heated mixer, right? Okay. Yeah, so we're good. Yeah, good That's idea. Fine. Good idea. And then uh, we need to rearrange so we can squeeze in. Well, oh, we could. I mean, we could just we can just move this. Wait, because this is no, no. no. It needs oh, you want to sink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can put the flower. Whoa! We have an extra cabinet. What are you doing? I was gonna. I was gonna. This is what I was gonna do. Sure, that works too. Yeah, yeah. That it's totally the works. same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> same, same thing. Same thing. All okay, right, where's we're gonna get grabbers? Where's here. My I'm not gonna grab session. anything but grabbers. Oh, I need to. I'll just put this right here. Uh, soups per day prediction. Five groups, three, six, nine. All right, start it up. Good luck, everyone. Oh, man. Oh, here's my sink. I'll start the, uh, soup. Okay. Here's right, you a I'll carrot. The carrot. Yeah, thank you. Wait for... Chat, we only want grabber on, um, our hobs. Just a heads up. Sorry, not hobs. We only want grabber on our desks. You can move cam top left. Absolutely. My bad. Desk. Override. Nope. Oh, but yeah, back back to the, the burger sushi. It's <laughs> it's really good. It's not like it's not really fusion. It's just imagine a cheeseburger, but instead of a bun, it's just rice. So it's rice and hamburger meat, right? Yeah, it's in the it's in the shape of a sushi roll, but then like Instead of like nori paper, it's like shoestring potato, like really thin, wrapped around the sushi roll. Interesting. Yeah, I mean it's it's very gimmicky. Yeah, yeah, like, that's what it feels like to me. Like you yeah. probably get a year of selling that, and then oh no, you know, oh conveyor, hold on, got it, mixer. Uh, no, we have one. I need one uh, dumpling, please. Oh, I can oh no. It's okay. We put the dish rack there. Yeah, we probably need a better way for me to hand stuff over now. Yeah, I, I'm down. I guess that could yeah, be what the uh, the prep station is for. Oh, sorry? I was going to say that's what the prep station could be used yeah. for. Sushi burritos oh. are good. I don't think it's there's anything special about it. It's just a, a very yeah, fat sushi, sushi roll. Sushi roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it is. That's I think that's... Yes, it's gimmicky, but it doesn't get that far away from the original food true like, of being sushi so it sort of gets away with it sorry i need uh one more carrot in my soup when you get a chance mm -hmm. here we go sushi seaweed wow this is we have a very um sort of like piecemeal operation here where i'm doing a little bit you're doing a little bit and then it all ends up working that said, this is no longer this table orientation. Still oh, the running around. Yeah. Not worth it for one table. Uh, one more soup when you're ready. <coughs> mm-hmm. Uh, one more sushi when you're ready. Sushi. Sorry, no sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sushi Sorry, would be a good menu. On my head still. <laughs> They've got everything. They already have rice. There's already fish. Dude, I've been yeah. saying they need sushi. And then this. there's there's soy sauce. They've added seaweed. They've got all the ingredients for it. Yep. And then uh, so sushi and uh, pasta are my two big ones. I think they need to add. Yeah, I think tacos would be good too. Tacos good too. Yep. You have the meat already. You have the cheese. All you need is the taco shell. But okay, so culture like uh you know, culturally accurately, there's no cheese on tacos, right? Uh two dumplings plain? Correct. Like if you're talking like just like it's, you go to a proper taqueria. Yeah. It's, it's not gonna have it's any like cheese. cilantro, onion, lime. Uh we should do some research here. 
I can go do it. Okay. Oh. Thank you so much. I'll get the other dumpling myself. All good. So it would it would be Americanized tacos if they added tacos with the ingredients Jeez. that they have. How come? Oh, I was gonna say how come Taco Bell is the only Tex-Mex place, but that's not true at all. There's no, a there's... lot of Tex-Mex joints, right? Oh yeah. I can't think of too many we have in Canada. Oh no, you also, sent them away. I'm so dumb. I <laughs> served them right away. I am not playing on my A game here. I'm distracted. Oh, you're good. My bad. The Burgushi got turn, you well, thinking. Yeah, it's got me going crazy.